So, um, say we got a question like something like three x squared plus five x minus twelve, and we are asked to factorize that whole thing. Factorize. Okay, so how we do this? Step one, we take the number that's in front of the x squared term and we take the number on its own and we multiply the two of them together. So I'm going to take three, multiply it by minus 12, and we will get minus 36. Now, I need to get, take this number 36 and I need to get the factors of that. So factors mean any two numbers that could be multiplied by e together to give minus 36. So if I list out all the different factors of 36, I would have one and 36. Um, we would have two and 18. We would have three and 12. We would have four and nine. We would have six and six. And I think that is everything. Okay. But this is a minus 36. So we have two options for how these factors can be. It can be either minus one multiplied by 36, or it could be 36 and apologies. Or it could be plus one and a minus 36. Similarly, two could be minus two and 18 or plus two and minus 18. Could be minus three and 12 or it could be three and minus 12. It could be minus four and nine or it could be four and minus nine. And lastly, it could be a minus six or a six, minus six or a plus six. That's going to be the same either way. So I will now get rid of these. And okay, so these are now the factors of 36. And now our next step is very important. So we need to pick one of these sets of factors. And how we do it is we pick the one that would add to give the number in front of the X term. Okay, so we wanna add uh, sum of factors gives that. And what I mean by sum of factors is Minus 1 plus 36 would give me 35. Okay, that's not 5. That's not an option. 1 and minus 36 would give me minus 35. Again, that's not an option. Minus 2 and 18 would give me 16. It's not, it's not plus 5. Not an option. 2 and minus 18 would give me minus 16. Not an option. Okay, so then I can keep doing that for all of them. And if I look through them all, I the one that stands out to me is a minus 4 and a plus 9 will give me a plus five. Okay, so that is my set of factors that I'm going to pick. So now, if I bring this, if I bring this whole thing down here and write it out, I'm just going to write it out again as 3x squared plus 5x minus 12. However, this time, I'm going to rewrite the middle term in terms of these factors that I just picked. So rather than 3x squared is going to say the same, but rather than writing plus 5x, I'm going to write plus 9x minus 4x. Okay? So this and this are the same thing. I've just written them in terms of these factors. Plus 9x minus 4x would give me 5x as well. So I haven't changed the equation by doing this. And then 
what's left. We then need to group the similar terms together. So I will get, um, I'm going to group 3x squared plus 9x together and take out the what's called the highest common factor. So they both have 3 in common. They both have x in common. So I'm going to take those out. And then I'm going to open a bracket. So what would I need to multiply 3x by to get 3x squared? That would be x. Or would I need to multiply 3x by to get plus 9x plus 3? Okay, so that takes care of this and this are equivalent. Now I need to take care of this guy. So I look what's common. There's a minus common in both. There's a four common in both. So I'm going to take out the minus four. That's the highest common factor. And then what do I need to multiply minus four by to get minus four X? That would be X. And what do I need to multiply minus four by to get minus 12? That would be a plus three. And now we can see that these two things are the same. So I can re rewrite the whole thing as 3x minus 4. Just join this and this together, all times x plus 3. And that is your final answer. This, we have factorized it. So I hope that helps. And yeah. That is factorizing, quadratic factorizing.